Uh, the easiest way to think of big data is it's data that isn't optimized in a traditional way within a database. Um, it might have to do with the way social networks work. It may have to do with the fact that you know there are large image files, large movies being stored. They can't be optimized, indexed in a way that you typically could within a traditional relational database. Uh, the thing with big data is that um, a startling statistic I've seen recently is that 80% of all data in existence has been created in the last two years. Um, it, it can only make me really concerned about what's going to happen in the next year to 18 months to two years as we continue to add more and more data to our, to our already taxed storage infrastructures. I think there's a lot of performance and capacity implications, not just storage space, but the performance of that storage. If I'm calling up a movie that's being stored in some way, how quickly am I going to be able to get that? What kind of latency issues are going to be in play? Incredibly important that we not only think of disk space, but that we also think of disk performance as well. Well, first of all, we, have to, we, we still have to manage the storage space, obviously. But at the same time, we need to have a, a big focus on storage performance. So we need to have good data in place so that the capacity planner and performance analyst is able to monitor storage implications of big data. Um, Intellimagic, which is one of Athene's partners, um, has very good storage data that we can incorporate into the Athene Capacity Management Information Store using an integrator capture pack. Um, so certainly having that quality data in place uh, is the first step to managing big data.